and Knights is uh, fourth in their group. And uh, knife round is underway here. Nice to see an early start to knife round uh, to get it over and done with. Oh, it looks like we might have a two side win. <laughs> Bit of an even night tonight. Yeah, not bad. And uh, of course, as uh, you would expect, knights are going to switch. Yes. <laughs> No, no great surprise there. Just gonna see if we have any info on, on these guys. Let's go Knights, says Xbra. Obviously uh, supporting the team there. Good on you, mate. And uh, we will be going into the pistol round. T's opting for armor and a defuse kit on Summer. And... Sorry, CTs, and uh, T-Side going for armor and nades, so they are going to try and take the side here. It doesn't look like it's going to be a YOLO push. <laughs> Good to see a bit of early discipline coming in, in the pistol round here as well, so... Oh, as I say that, the poor man threw that smoke. Yeah, he did, he did actually flash that, so... Um, they did play it right, but Huey doing a great job in CT, taking down two. Trojan pushing into sight now, and uh, getting that bomb plant. CTs are on the rotate though, it is a 3v3, and um, CTs do have the armor. T's also two armor, CJ taking down someone with a headshot, a great shot there. And CTs a man shot right now, pushing into sight, Outlaw finds one, goes for the second, a new box, but he runs out of bullets, he's got to reload, and no, none of his teammates are there to help him. Kermit taking down one, and CJ getting the final headshot. A little bit of a sloppy retake there. Um, I, I think if they had both peaked the new box player, they could have taken him out. Yeah, but look, looked to be a bit of a hasty retake there. Sort of just wanting to get in there, realizing the bomb is ticking down. That you know the time is getting low. Although they did have a kit on some, I'm not too sure if anyone actually. I didn't take note of anyone picked up the kit. Um, but again, you know, as you said, a bit of a sloppy retake. Just Thanks a bit of background on the, on the guys here, quick with Knight, um, Summer IGL. Uh, cool being AWP, Outlaw Entry, J-Man and Huey Rifling, so... Uh, T-Side pushing strong into A, taking down 3, but uh, Cool Jinx has picked up a UMP, he will take down Kermit, but uh, Cetrix, that MP7 headshot coming in, and now it's just Huey with a CZ. It looks like he might be trying to save his armor here, jumping up on top of... Uh, no, actually, he's he's headed back towards towards B, and uh, I think he'll be trying to create as much distance between the T's and himself, knowing <laughs> that they will probably be hunting him. But uh, T's not opting for that. In fact, uh, here he should get away with this. T's exiting down mid. That's a good play as well uh, by the T's, exiting a site altogether, knowing that Huey is the last one alive, and uh, he could very well take down one if they do split up. Yeah. They, um, you know, playing, especially in that position for a sort of, you know, as, as a passive, or not passive, but a, a passive-aggressive position for when the T's do try and come and hunt you. But, again, the discipline being shown there by cruisers just putting off and, and not, not going for the frag. CT is uh, going for a three-man stack on B right now. And, uh, it looks like this might not pay off for them. One more player actually rotating across. And uh, T-Side pushing straight up mid. Only one man on A now. CT's read this all wrong. But uh, Summer, we're going to frag onto Kermit. And uh, CJ does take him down in graveyard. T-Side getting that, getting that bomb plan once again. And uh, CT's on the rotate right now. Trying to make something happen. But SMGs versus P2000s, USPs, I don't know boys, gonna be a tough one. Looks like they're just trying to get some exits here, I don't think they're even going for a retake. CT's choosing to go very, very passive here. As the T's are trying to hunt them down, a little confused as to why they're not pushing. CJ does find Outlaw. And Cool Jinx will take down Trojan with a headshot from that USP. Cedric's almost dying to the bomb there and losing that AK. 7 HP. But uh, in the end, T-Side do win the round. 0-3 to three right now. And Knights on their first buy. Thank you very much, Anti. Um, we'll, we'll check that when we have the chance, mate. 
tees off. Three for zero at the moment. Knights still to get around on the board. But uh, this is the round they could do it. Full board up now. And uh, some damage already going out onto Cedric's down to 66. As the tees go for that split, split pick play. Once again, we've seen them do so many times on this map. Sorry every, about that, Every mate. team te seems to do this uh, as a standard play when they um, go into the first gun round. It's just always a split and pick. Just trying to create an opening. The, I'm sorry about that, guys. Just had a, had a quick personal matter to attend to. Um, yeah, as you say, that, that split and pick sort of mentality is, is a very common occurrence we see on, on the first gun round. Uh, we, we really do see, uh, you know, straight out the bat... Um, push into a site, which, which is good discipline to learn early on, because at, at the higher levels you just get shut down for that very quickly for that for the aggro push. Yeah, that's right. It does look like, and this is such a standard play right now. They split pick and then rotate off the B. Thirty seconds remaining. The yeah. smoke is down, and uh, it's actually and a bad CT smoke. But they've they've forced the rotate. Yeah, one of them has rotated off. Pultings left alone on site, taking down Cedric's CJ though. Does finish him oh, off and Moz finding Huey. What a shot. What a shot through the smoke there. That was beautiful play from the T side. <laughs> Pushing that rotate from the CT, just that, that over rotate costing them the, both the players on B site, so forcing them to, to play the retake here. And uh, this is going to be a very tough retake. 4v3. CJ does go down to Outlaw. Trojan finds Summer at Con. And uh, Kermit Inanna, I don't think the CTs are aware of his position. He could play a key role in this retake. CT, so. Are choosing to fall off and save those guns. Oh, J-Man just jumping away in time. And uh, he should hold on to that M4. And again, the, the CTs, regardless of, of what they did, that, that delay from J-Man there, not dying, actually caused caused the bomb to kill one of the CTs, uh, one of the T-sides, so... <laughs> lo losing the gun, forcing, forcing the rebuy there. Un unintentional, but the less it, it, it works towards the CT favour. CT's on that half by now. And going for a five man stack and push down Nana. The nade's raining in Huey. Down to 11, a great nade. And uh, some are finding Cedric's Huey onto Moz now. And CT's have come out on top on this push. Catching the T's off guard, Huey and Cool Jinx are low. But they have picked up weapons. Does look like T-Side is going to push into uh, A though. And if they had done that... They would have been completely unopposed, probably not realizing that it was a five-man stack. Oh, Huey almost playing that perfectly. They're forcing that bait shot and then you know forcing him to readjust his cross there, but just peeking a little too soon. Yes, uh, CT's on a 4v3. Full guns, armor on J-Man and Outlaw. And this is very winnable for them right now. I mean, the they... CT should have read this a lot quicker with that failed smoke there going into the barbecue pit, but... And they don't have anyone on A. I mean, if I'd taken guns off them, I would have split immediately, sent 2 to B, 2 to A. But uh, it doesn't look to be the case. Outlaw, rotating through Arch Lake, does found find Kermit. Trojan from sight, though, cleans him up. And uh, it is a 3v1 right now. J-Man taking down CJ and uh, Trojan all alone. Should find Cool Jinx here, only on 22. Turns back just in time and uh, goes for the spray down onto J-Man, but um, J-Man through the box. J-Man picking up two frags there towards the end. I mean, great retake by the CTs, just playing the patience, you know, knowing they've got a kit. They're just walking in, you know, just trying to get all three players ready to converge on this one player. So good, good to see a bit of discipline coming out there, which in turn giving them that round. Yes, yeah, a great eco coming in from CT side. And uh, just uh, pushing that T economy down a little further. They are on a full buy again, though. And this round will determine who will be eco for the next one. CT is once again going aggressive in Nana. Cool Jinx looking for that AWP pick. Won't find it, but does spot information. Going back into sight now. As the T's. Also, try and find something. Kermit does find J-Man in carpet, so a great peek. And uh, falling back immediately, only only taking a couple of hit points off in there. And T-Side once again playing the split pick. It does look like they are going to push it into A. Kermit trying to sell a fake though. And uh, pushing up mid-solo as the rest of his team rotates back towards B. One minute remaining on the clock as uh, Kermit finds Summer. 
fake works for them 100% every time. This team is very easy to force a rotate, but Cool Jinx will work with that AWP on B site, doing his job to get into two frags, so, you know, it, it is a like, it could be winnable here. I mean, Kermit is low, you got both players with, with a bit minor nade set. Oh, but oh he's Huey. That smoke. That cheap to push playing off room. But he is in a uh, 1v2 now. He does have 94 hit points. Uh, Cedric's is very low. The, that molly. Oh, he fails it. That's unfortunate. That could have taken down Cedric's there. One tick and uh, would have been GG for him. 15 seconds and... Um, Huey expecting a rotate, but he's still on B. Finally do get that bomb down. And Huey will be retaking the site by himself. Cedric's in dark. Moz... On new box, and uh, this is deadly for him. I mean, he's going to peak one; the other one will kill him for sure. Yeah, he's. Th this is good patience coming out from B Cruz. They're just playing this this crossfire. He's dead either way. Oh, oh my God! He almost landed that. He almost wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, yeah. I nearly ate my words there. Centric was on eight HP. So, had he landed that shot, um, could have been a very different outcome right there. So. Yeah, good, 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 quick kill on the first play, which is not able to capitalise on the player that's that's lowest. And uh, CTs will be forced into an eco. A bad start for Knights now. One to five to Cruisers. It's the nice. The um, T's look like they're going to be changing it up with a super aggressive push into mid. Just catching them off guard completely. Yeah, and they've uh, CTs have gone for another A stack here. I mean, D-Sack, I'm sorry. Yeah. And leaving A-Site completely undefended. Only some of them. But he went down very quickly. And this retake on pistols is probably not going to go well for them. They do Again, T-Site using that prior knowledge that they had, but, um, you know, with the previous eco round where they stacked B and, and just, you know, running into it. But yeah, this time they realised, let's let's call the call the bluff on the stack and just let's push A-Site. A and it working out, working out for them very well. CTs do look like they are going to buy here. Cool Jinx only on 3600. We'll be able to afford a Master Armor and full nades, so that's not too bad for him. T side still on a full buy as well after getting that plant and winning the round. And uh, I think Knights are going to have to change something up here. They're starting to get a little bit dominated by this T side. If they don't start to get rounds yeah. on the board, it could be disastrous. But as, as I say, say that, that, Huey and J Man at Nana shutting down that T push and. Uh, CT's in with a great chance right now. Cool Jinx picking up an AK and falling back as the T's try to regroup and make something happen. That uh, ca famous caster's curse coming out again. Oh, mate, you just can't call it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you call it and without fails. As you fail, call it, it, will, it, yeah. it, it will go backwards for you without fails. So maybe we should call in reverse and see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see where the sort of, you know, the CT's are playing it well. With the, you've got a semi aggressive hold on Dig. You got the crossfire happening on on A site, so you know they're, they're playing this well. That they're not rotating too easily this time. So we'll, uh, I think, I think Huey's hopefully Huey picks up on that he's rotating way too early and just learns his lesson and just and holds B a little longer with his team. Yeah, I think the CTs are aware that uh, they are in Nana. Cool Jinx was ready with that smoke out, and as soon as he heard a sound, he put that smoke down. His teammate peeking from CT. That is great play, Huey. Taking down one Kermit though, with that pre aim does find Cool Jinx and CJ onto Huey now. Wow, I'm surprised that the T's were able to push in there. Yeah, Huey just, I think Huey was just whiffing that shot there to be honest, he just not, not capitalising. He should have peaked a lot sooner with that, you know, picking up the AWP at least as a minimum, but... Kermit doing work with 1 HP. Can he clutch this? Oh no, the molly. It's on the wrong side of the box though. He is spotted from Con and he should go down here, two CT's pushing him. At the same time, and Kermit not able to hold them off. CTs with a much needed round, two to six. And uh, hopefully, they'll be able to convert this into some more rounds, getting that momentum they need. And breaking the T economy a little bit. Yeah, the um, T economy is, is a bit, it's a bit off. I mean, you should be having Moz buying here to sort of even it out. But again, looks like they're going to be forcing the two AKs and the rest of the tech, oh, actually three AKs. 
Personally, I would have gone with the Galil there and, and rather have a, a full nade set for, for an execute. Being you can put the tech nines at the front, just have them be the battering rams, you know, get smashed and just trade them out. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the tech nine's almost as good as the rifle. You can, <laughs> yeah. You can spam that all day. <laughs> <laughs> just keep spamming and you'll get that lucky pink. Oh, Great trade coming out with a, with a tech nine there, as we say that. They pushed through smoke though, and it worked for them. I'm, yeah. I'm surprised once again. Summer did get the first frag, but uh, the T's just pouring through the smoke now, and uh, J Man taking down two, bringing it back to a three v two. The T side will get the bomb down, and that's exactly what they needed this round. It doesn't matter if they lose it; they should be able to buy for next. That great flash through the smoke there from J Man, with just pushing through, just catching him off guard completely. He's turned into the wall, just thinking he was made. He made it into boiler, and J Man just taking him out there. It looks like I was a little off with my money calculations there. T-Side just under being able to buy for this round, and they might be ecoing. Yeah, Yeah, which is, which is fair. I mean, they did make the call to force buy, so you were right in saying, you know, that the money was low, and it's, it's proven it in this round. Had they had they had the guys buy to even out the money a little bit, could have been a different story, you know. I mean, even if the, if the guys that bought AKs bought Tech 9s instead. Yeah. Um, tech nines, armor, and full and a full nade set. Oh, summer going summer. huge with that P90. Actually missed that. I'm sorry about that, guys. That was a huge spray down. Summer pushing unexpectedly through caps and uh, getting a 4K. J Man just coming in as the cleanup crew there. Damn. Wish I'd got that one. I'm sure there will be plenty more on this side. For sure. Is, uh, seeming to find their stride now and catching the T's off guard. Seems to be very crucial, you know, crucial behavior, especially on this map. If you can catch that T side in a surprise, you know, or, or mid execution, push on them, you know, you can capitalize pretty well, as, as some approved there with that, that P90, then getting ready to go into the apps. Uh, CT's full drinks taking a lot of damage at the start, almost getting sprayed down, luckily falling back just in time. As the two side are setting up for an A push here, smoke's going down in mid to delay them, but two T's already in carpets, and uh, no one watching it. The CT's playing someone in pit this round, as opposed to aggressive carpets, to get that information. Yeah, the I'd like to see this AWPA play a little more aggressive, to be honest. You could sort of, you know, push him to B, put him out, put him out in apps. Again, this a stagnant AWPA can be effective for, you know, three rounds or so. And then you you just, you realise where he plays consistently and just, you trade him, and, which is what they did then. I mean, they didn't need to trade him, but again, they, they managed to kill him regardless. Yeah, Cool Drink's just getting overwhelmed as they push through. I don't think he expected so many. Yeah. And T-Side will get the plant here. CT's in a 2v4 right now. J-Man and Huey. But uh, they've done it before. It does look like they are going to save this time, though. And that, I mean, is that the right call? They could buy it potentially next round with the money they already have. Yeah, they. I mean, I would. I'd be surprised if they do eco. It would be a first. I mean, there's enough for a drop from two, you know, two players, albeit a famous. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I personally, I don't see them ecoing um, or. If they do eco, it'll likely be a half buy from from two of the guys with with you know, over six k. Now now almost ten. So J Man can definitely drop. So actually no, it will be a full buy. You had you have two players on on over four k. Yeah, and uh, J Man on nine. I mean yeah. T side so yeah, full full nay sets coming out. So oh, some are actually opting to to go with the CZ. That's an interesting I mean, play. I mean, they have the, yeah. the money to drop. Why? Why are they not doing J-Man that? could have dropped him an M4 there. That was very weird. I think some are <laughs> going very aggressive and trying to take the information instead. CP is going really aggressive in Nana and paying the price. Cool Jink and Huey taking down two, but uh, T's do have that bomb site now. They... <laughs> Cruz is just not able to capitalize on that CT smoke, however. The barbecue pit's not CT. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the second, I think, second or third time I've seen them fail that smoke, so... A bit of work then to be done there from the, the player throwing that, you know, a bit of individual work just in an offline server, just practice, you know, the on-the-fly throws. Oh, T's playing with position. That was great. 
Smart play there coming in from T side. Uh, Summer, last player alive, does go down to Kermit. And again, great rotate timing there from Kermit, just pushing out Condor to be able to shoot him in the back. However, T side just winning rounds, but uh, just scraping by with the economy. It's they've only got one player, which is Kermit, who's on on fifty three hundred. The rest are all below, you know, fifteen hundred dollars. And oh, sorry, I take that back. There's one player with eighteen hundred, but you know, they lose this round, they could be forced into a partial buy or even even an eco. So yeah, it's been either way so far. I mean, both teams fragging well. I mean, look at yeah. the CTs. They're they're fragging probably better than the T side right now, but somehow just not able to finish off the rounds and, you know, get that get that round on the board. Yeah, I mean, you look at the deaths as well on, on the T side, it's 88898. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah. So Moz only, only surviving one extra round to his team. So, as you said, the, the CTs are fragging well, and and so are the Ts. It's sort of, it's just coming down to the timing and that sort of thing. Except the Bar Outlaw on, on a, on a four-field streak there with, with ten deaths. Now, T's going very aggressive in mid here. Bomb dropped in Nana. It looks like they might be trying a... Uh, Around the world strat. In fact, that is exactly what's happening. Huey might get caught out here as he rotates. Does spot them on Speedway. Should get a spray down here. Does find CJ. very nice strat to see. The summer again with that CZ. Going for the... Uh, for the flank position. But uh, not paying, it, paying off for him right now. T's taking B with little to no resistance. Again, they've read this play very well. I mean, you can see that practices with the fact that push three through archway to force that rotate and knowing that there's going to be two coming from banana smoking it off there and isolating the guy in, in CT by himself as well. Cedric's finding summer as he pushes through smoke and uh, J-Man not able to trade the smoke actually blocking his vision. Again, a miscommunication here. you got one player saving, J-Man just trying to go in, trying to find that last frag. Yeah. Again, if the IGL calls save, just save. Just save. Don't go Don't. for it. Don't go for the peak because you put your team in a, in a worse situation. Yeah, you might, if you get the frag and you, and you make it out alive or you die to bomb, you know, you could be like, yeah, cool, I got the frag. But at the end of the day, the, the T's have the round. You, you know, you don't need to, to pretty up the scoreboard for yourself. The CTs might buy here. I'm not sure what they're going to do. Summer again with that CZ. And it looks like they have opted for an eco. CZ and P250 on full jinx. P's full board again, 4-9 to nine to V Cruisers at the moment. The underdogs coming into this match. And uh, really schooling <laughs> the Knights as well on T side. Yeah, again, CT, uh, sorry, T side in Australia and Inferno has always been sort of a bit of a spectacle with, with our, our CT lacking. You know? mm. And that, that's for, for every team, you know. I mean, there's the, there's the odd, there is the odd team in the higher divisions that do play a very, very polished CT. Um, but again, moving towards the lower divisions, you tend to see the, just the aim stars showing in, in this game, which, you know, you speak to a lot of people from Source and 1.6, and they, they say, you know, a lot of guys, most every player that plays this game and, and, and gets good is, is an entry fragger by default. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's how we like our CS, guys. That is true. Makes it more exciting to play as well. Cedric's about to get pushed by J-Man. Does let in the headshot. Here's him coming. And uh, J-Man paying the price for peaking Nana like that. Only one man left on site now. But he is actually hiding in smoke, I believe. Cool Jin's not spotted with that P250. Should get the bomb planter here. Peaks out just in time. Great play there. Stopping that bomb from being planted. Cedric's does finally find him. But it is 3v3. CTs do have guns once again. CJ spraying down Nana Huey with that late peak. Just can't trade in time. And again, cool Jinx, cool Jinx could have actually done a bit more work there. I mean, not, not to take away from what he did. He played the smoke very well. He got the bomb planner, but he knew immediately he should have fallen back to Con. Played in a, in a tighter corner angle, forcing Centrix, to, uh, you know... To come around rather than go, okay, I know he's there, he's standing right in front of me, I just peek, tap him in the head and he's dead. You know, give him the element of surprise, just, just have him come around a corner, not expect you. He could have picked up two frags easily there. Yeah, you're again, right. Just heat of the moment, not much you can really do. I mean, I think he was Centric probably just... happy just stopping that bomb plant, but... Um, yeah. yeah. You're absolutely right. I mean, once you've got the, the jump on the enemy, as it were, mm. and they don't know where you, where you are, you have to capitalise on that. 
yeah. I mean, it, con con is a very nice place to play with a pistol. I mean, you can go you can go ham with just about any pistol, bar the the defaults. I mean, if you, if you're sharp enough, you can you can pull off the triple dink. <laughs> but you know, or, or a double dink at close range. But with a P250, you can you can definitely win around from there. So he's all bought up now. Good nades coming down onto Kermit, down to 33. And uh, CP's just going super aggressive once again. Outlaw pushing cups and finding CJ. Down to 15 and uh, both sides. Not sure what to do from here. CT's falling back. That is the right move after getting a pick. T's now very careful. They know that they have been pushed carpets and they don't want to allow themselves to get flanked from behind. Cedric's going around to check second mid now. But some of that awful mid, I feel like he is going to get the shot here. Trojan peeking out. At the wrong time. And Huey oh. finding Kermit through smoke. J-Man pushing down there as well, picking the guy up on T-Stairs. He's got bomb now, so... T's just Pretty going down one by one. Yeah, again, that's that, that sort of, that standard one by one peak. Oh, sort man, of completely flashed there. And uh, a good half coming in from B-Cruisers. Five to ten. Yeah. And, I mean, if they can start off strong on CT side, I see no reason... Well, they should not be able to win this in the next few rounds. Yeah, for sure. I mean, although we, we're not too sure on, on how Knights play on, on the, the T side, I mean, they could be a very super aggressive team. And, and just, you know, as V Cruisers was, just push into that B side and, and take them out. But it'll be interesting to see if V Cruisers do the standard, you know, what seems to be the norm now, the 3B, three, three but it doesn't look to be that way. So they'll be playing... Looks like they think they're going to go for a one-way smoke here in Nana on that car, so... Which again is not a bad, not a bad smoke. It, it's very effective, but oh, strong push coming strat. in from Knights right now. Outlaw finding two, just charging through carpets. Oh, that strat. CT is just not expecting that and getting completely oh. rolled over. Trojan coming around from Dig though, picking out the bomb funner again. Oh, that headshot! Oh. Wow, what a flick onto Outlaw at that Dig. That was a flick and a half. And uh, Trojan. Again, that SK strat being executed perfectly there. CT's not ready for it. Bomb does go down eventually. But uh, CT's are ah, close. Moz with a great headshot onto Huey. Cool Jinx does find him from Pit. And Trojan now out of carpets does get shut down by Summer. A great, great T play there coming in. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a great first round and, and a crucial one at that. I mean, if they can pick up these next two rounds, it brings the scoreline very close. So it'll be it'll be quite an interesting interesting fight here. I mean, again, it's good to see this T side team not opting for the SMG play, sort of giving the the, the CTs that confidence. You know, they they're using SMGs to armor up and and we'll, we'll, we'll get them in the third round. CTs yoloing straight down mid the nades coming out, but uh, getting shut down. Those guns so superior as uh, the CTs do get shot down completely. And was on left twenty. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. He's on twenty. That's one bullet. CJ one bullet as well. I yeah. mean, he might he might even try and save the P90 here. Yeah, I mean, the, it can definitely be used. I mean, you come third round, you buy armor. You know, give it to the guy with the highest money. He buys armor. He pushes straight out of apps, straight down behind him, and just comes up with that P90. He gets close enough. He, he can do some damage. I mean, Summer's proven that when he when he peaked them from from apps, you know, towards T House, in the four K with the P90. Yeah, it does look like Moz is saving and CJ is going to try and get some exits here. Yep. He does have the CZ. So, um, I mean, he's got to make the bullets count, really. 12 bullets only, no reload. And 18 HP. Oh, no. Three terrorists <laughs> coming around the corner there. <laughs> CJ. Not sure which one three, to shoot three, at. Pretty <laughs> <Is that> effective. <laughs> oh, you know. Maybe if you get right. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> get right or, uh, or scream. <laughs> Scream, yeah. Oh my god. The headshot machine himself. Yep. And T-Side. A bit of a funny buy here. A couple of Galils. UMP. P250 just upgrading a little bit there. And uh, CK's Moz with that P90 in hand. Doesn't choose oh, armor. And nades! Wow, Moz! Going aggressive and paying the price. The nades just... That nade, he just, he, he ate that nade for breakfast there. That was a beautiful nade from the T's. Doesn't look like the T's are going to push in here, but they're walking into a four stack right now. Yeah. 
CPs. Not being able to capitalize on that crossfire very, very effectively. Yeah, their guns just don't have the stopping power, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, you've got to go for the head in that kind of situation. And discipline again being shown here from the T side, you know. They knew they had a guy on the rotate. There was no need to push that site. They were forcing around to A for the fact that if they did, you know, the CT did manage to kill their teammate, they would have at least got the bomb down and been able to force that CT to play retake with no armor. and CTs now. Full board up. Summer still without Galil. Summer has had some interesting buys this game. I yeah, mean, he he's has. opted for CZs, he's opted for uh, P90s, and now the Galil. Perhaps trying to he's save his team ideal. money, or...? <laughs> he's sort of trying to be the drop man, I guess. Bit of a waste of that counter molly there. No point, really. I mean, the CTs weren't pushing, so... Both sides playing extremely slow. The CTs are pushed up in Nana though, but uh, no Again, T's are there to challenge right now. That smoke from the CTs on top of Nana there, a, a T, if, if, he's, if he's ballsy enough, can actually play that smoke very well. Because of the gap between the car and the smoke, he could have peeked in, had the advantage and, and taken out mods, but the CTs just using their smokes way too early here, so they're going to have to, they will be engaging in a gunfight very shortly if, if the T's do push B. So, work, great work from the T side, just baiting those smokes out, forcing these guys to sort of, you know, expand their utilities and, and yep. get them out of their hands so you, you force them to a gunfight and use your utilities as an advantage. Yeah, definitely. T side is pushing up mid now, and uh, both of them watching digs. J Man can't get the frag in time. So, Trojan does take out Summer. And they do look to be pushing into A. Outlaw trying to find that diggity play for his smoke. Does spot his gun and gets the headshot onto CJ. Still on CT pit. No one's cleared it yet. Outlaw does. Finds the frag quite easily. Kermit not doing much damage at all there. And B, players, B players were very hesitant on the rotate there as well. They, they made their way into CT and sort of just held there for a little bit too long. Had they been a little quicker, they um, I think they could have capitalized a little bit better. We've seen a lot of save rounds come in, something that um, yeah. we haven't really seen before in you don't, you probably don't the last week of games as yeah. well. It's sort of this, V Cruisers do seem to, to be playing or trying to play that, that, that basic form of CS and just you know, take it where, where it is, you know, you lose the round, save, you can, you can use it next round or, uh, you know, drop it for a teammate if, if need be. So yeah, good discipline coming up. They're playing it right, definitely, and I'd, I'd love to see more of it in CG. I mean, I think a lot of players get frag hungry, and they don't think about yeah. the future or like the the economy in the next few rounds. And yeah, that could cost them. I mean, we have been tending to see a lot of it with orbs, especially. I mean, that's almost 5k just in one gun, you know, and yeah. and that gun can prove very, very good at stopping a, a rush or even just scaring the enemy for the fact that. You know, you make the assumption they're on eco, guys. Just, you know, play your angles and play your distance, and then, hello, you've got an AWPA that's just taking you out. Oh, good volley coming in from oh, Julie, pushing volley. that player out from Sandbags. Oh, taking a little bit of damage there. And uh, J-Man actually opened up the fragging in jungle. What oh, a CJ Kermit now in carpets finding Outlaw. But the T's are already in sight. Cool Jinx. Hiding backside with that P250 and Molly, waiting for his teammates before he can plant. And uh, the plant does go in. Trojan though, creeping up through smoke. Kermit taking down Summer. And uh, T's in a bit of bad shape at the moment. Only an open and AK. Huey does spot Cedrix in mid though. And, uh, CT's were playing that well up until that point. Cedrix looking towards mid. He should have he should have made the assumption, you know, that they were on side. But great flash come great from Huey. Flash. They're picking up bombs. Huey doing great work now, picking up the last frag! Huey. Wow! Huey going massive for his team there. That flash though, that was that was the, the round breaker right yeah. there. That was a huge hold by uh, by Huey. CT practically caught it in his hands. <laughs> they did they did have a CT in carpets and I'm confused as to why he didn't push out because uh, Huey did make some noise digs. And his yeah. teammate would have called that he was flash, but his teammate just not instead choosing to go for the guy on side, I guess. It's easy to yeah, see that in hindsight, it was a mistake, yeah. but, um... Heat of, heat of the moment type scenario, though, I mean, you, you could put that in just, just the pressure of them, you know. They're on site, bomb's down, we need to get in there, get the bomb down, and just... Again, Cenerix making the mistake of looking towards mid, 
I don't know if it was a miscom or not, but you know, most teams would have come. They're on they're on site, they're on site. He's looked down mid, you take a brief look. If the guy picks you from mid, so be it. He outplayed you with the fact that he was in a ran position, as as most people would call it. I mean, not very likely a T would in, in that scenario push out of out of bomb site, you know? Yeah. T side again opting for this A take a bit of a foul smoke there, but Huey there to cover it with his smoke as well. Loving and, that one. Uh, are going to push into sight now. One CT drop down into pit. J Man getting a frag onto Trojan. Huey taking down Trojan in turn, and I know there's still one pit. Huey very low. Outlaw does take him down though. Oh, Moz. Moz going massive right now. 1v1, Moz. This is winnable. This is so winnable for Moz right now. Outlaw should hear him though, and he does. Oh, Moz oh, just yeah. getting caught out as he jumps up onto truck for that AK. A little unlucky there. I think I think what Moz's thought process there was, you know, if I if I can get around, get into carps, he'll plant carps, thinking I'm pit, and just you know trying to play the bomb and, and peek him at mid plant, but just failing to capitalise, you know, practice your beehive guys, you probably get up there a lot quicker. <laughs> you know, just bad bad timing in that instance. Yeah, for sure. Nice on a bit of a comeback now after having a very good start. To this game, 11 to 10, taking the lead away from the cruisers. And, uh, a good again, molly that, again, that that T side, you know, Australian being T side heavy, is showing showing truth here. E even at the lower ranks, it's the same same deal, you know. They they do well on on you know T side, smash the rounds out, and then come the CT side, we, we seem to struggle a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure why that is. I mean. Do you think it's because we prefer to play aggressively and holding the line seems to yeah, be a little just, boring or...? It's... I, I think it's patience. To be totally honest with you, it comes down to patience and boredom at, at the end of the day is, you know, as CTs we all, we're, we're all aimers. That's the, the, the problem with this game is everybody is an aim star in this game and no one, no one likes to... The logic process of a game is very boring for most. Mm. You know, so the logical thing to do is sit and watch the line, wait for them to walk across here and, and pick them off, but no. You'd rather take the aggro peak, and you know, and you die to it. And it, it just seems to be a common thing across all teams. T side have pushed in the jungle successfully, but look at this. There is a CT in Arch ready to pick them off. He does no damage though. That's incredible. Oh, Trojan with a nice frag there. Trojan doing work. Trojan and CJ doing work on the side. Yeah, they did shut down that two side very quickly. I'm quite surprised. I thought they're surrounded and there's no way they're going to get into yeah. sight. Again, the, the CT's playing that very well, you know. You had the player in Noto just standing there listening. He called it, he called, would have called at least two, you know, pushing up towards Moto. He couldn't hear them. He, he held off to just about the right time, you know, hearing if they're going to, if, if the noise is fading, is if they're going for a B push. But he called it, pushed in, and, and he capitalised on it, playing, playing that side position very well. So nice, nice to see some discipline coming there from the cruisers. Oh, J-Man copying an unlucky bing through smoke there. Good nade coming out onto Moz once again. Moz always taking damage in that spot, and he should go down here to the fire. Very oh, low. Out time. The T's know this. They, they can capitalise on this very effectively now. CT's have done the right thing, though, falling back just in time. And uh, smoking off the uh, entry point into B. J Man needs to play this very carefully. I mean, if J Man can get a frag here, regardless if it's on Moz or another player, if he can kill someone with one HP, that's his job done. He, he's, he, yep. you know, it, it's just up to his team to seal the rest of the round for him. He is trying to spam through smoke, but uh, I have a feeling he's about to catch a bullet here if he peeks again. J Man. Just trying to work B for his team right now. It looks like he is going to be the entry fragger. Already low. Oh, the molly coming in though. J Man always oh, stepping into it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't do it, J Man! That's, just, that's <laughs> licking at his feet. It's licking at his feet. Spray coming in from Coils and Trojan in CT now does uh, take down J Man. CJ and Kermit just spraying them down through smoke. And uh, T side getting cut down. Cut to pieces as they push into the site. Yeah. Burnt alive, mollied, naded. <laughs> it was all happening. Just great to see 
again, you know, going back to my point that I made when knights are on, on the, the CP side, the use of utilities, you have to time it, it's crucial. Yep. I mean, they they push the CTs to the very limit, to the point of, you know, we got to push now, guys. we, we got to get this bomb down. We don't have time. And, and the desperation set in. I mean, you could see J-Man nearly dying for Molly there on 1 HP. Yeah, that was so close. Oh, this aggression from the CTs, though. That deep smoke Nana forcing them to play the stairs. Yeah, it looks like the could take this A bomb site, but Kermit taking them down from pit. Cedric's picking up the rotator, and uh, the bomb plant will come in. Huey managing to pull it off, picking up an M4, but uh, holding the site will be a bit of a task. <laughs> and one that he's not going to come out on top of. Here we try in there. This has turned into a very interesting match. I mean, scorelines are 11-13 now, but to think, you know, start of the, start of the round change, it was it was 10-5. Yeah. Knight, Knight's doing some amazing work on the T side to, to bring it back there. I mean, just capitalising on the mistakes crews are making. Although they're playing a very sort of, you know, passive uh, a passive semi-disciplined CT, it's, there, there's still a lot of moments where they're, they're getting over peaky and sort of impatient, and and the T's are capitalising on that. That's a great fight on Jakari. Should be able to get a pick here. Kermit taking down Huey on Nana. And that is how you play an aggressive orb, guys. If there's no smoke, you flash that car position, go for a peek and fall back. He's done it perfectly. We'll actually be rotating all the way across back to A. And it seems like this could be the right move for the, for the moment. T's are pushing up mid, but the bomb dropped on T stairs. And uh, I don't think this is their endgame, T side. Yeah. I, I feel what they're going to try and do here is they're going to try and push into A, possibly get a pick, and if another peaks them, they'll likely fall back to B to force that, that pull from those two players. This could cost them dearly. I mean, they they are doing exactly what you just said, but taking damage. Yep. And there it comes. And I mean, CTs are going to hear not, this. They ran straight back yeah, down mid. They're not, they're not, they didn't capitalize on the kill, so again, the B site not empty. The, the CT's reading this very well, and just, you know, making a play of it. Getting the oh, kill through spray. spray. Cedric's doing work again. Nice play there. J-Man almost dying to fire oh, again. Oh, J-Man, the running one. The double from Cedric. Yes, he's uh, held down this site very well as his teammate went down. Picking up three. And now it's just Outlaw. Oh, outlaw. That headshot onto Coils. Going for a second. Kermit there with the AWP and uh, Outlaw. Don't know if you want to pick that again, mate. He is getting flanked by CJ, though. Does outlaw. pick him up. He doesn't and have bomb, though. Had he had bomb here, then... Oh, that shot. Go for the frag, Outlaw. You can do it, mate. CTs, though. Trojan playing this very Trojan. smart. Oh, Trojan just playing the patience game. Outlaw yeah. being able to save that AWP, though. Yep, he's going to pick up the AWP. Again, T-side AWP, as I've said previously. Not very good on this map for the fact that, you know, it slows your team down. You, you want to push a site, and it's like, uh, where's our fifth? Or, you know, yep. where's the guy to trade me? And it's like, uh, guys, sorry, I'm, I'm holding the midline. Yeah, that's right. Sorry guys, I'm still T-stairs. What's that? I have the bomb on my back? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just makes for an awkward scenario. And it's like, uh, we've got me. Can you, uh, can you come now? Oh, good oh, Molly's coming in. Really Look at that water. damage on the T-side. Desperation. Oh, Moz could have gone huge there. Just unable to connect Huey those shots. And T's pushing in, but uh, very, oh, very low right now. Kermit. Kermit, turn around. No. Couldn't <laughs> yeah, capitalize very well on that big there. Oh, J Man, almost going to a Molly again. J Man, he's he's uh the fire likes him. I'll give him that. Cool Jinx peeking out into CT. Does find Trojan and now Cedric and CJ trying to retake oh. Cedric from Nana. Ah, uh, from Connor. Sorry, CJ pushing from Nana and uh, Cool Jinx left alone cool on Jinx site. Not, not being able to capitalize there, killing that CT. How do you kill that player? Would have likely been his round with the fact that the bombs already ticking away. Cedric would have to push him. He could just play around those, you know, play around the new box like that. And sadly, not making that first shot it was the crucial sort of the clincher for that. Looks like this might be the last round here, but Knights are on a full buy with those mollies and nades and flashes. So it might not be over yet. Kermit gets this pick though. Oh, he is flashed and mollied off, so no pick for you, Kermit. He does peek it again, <laughs> but pays the price. Outlaw landing that headshot, and uh, that was a mistake by Kermit. Yeah. Again, just... Oh, tease with the boost over into Nana. 
and spotting those CTs as they push some good plays coming in now. This is a lot more exciting. <laughs> the, uh, um, again, Kermit, Kermit just doing, as I've said before, you know, with the CTs, just getting impatient. Just waiting, uh, you know, just going for the cheeky repeat. Oh, CJ. Spraying oh, them two. down in arches. Trojan pick out another. He's, he's stopped this push single-handedly, CJ, and uh, Huey pushing into library does get the headshot, but um, he is going to get stopped here. CTs know exactly where he is right now. Oh, right, that will be the end. A good game coming in. Knights 11, V Cruisers yeah. on 16, and uh, we're played by both teams. The underdogs. Were they not? They were, yeah. They're coming off a yeah. draw, and uh, I believe a three three loss as well, or two loss. Yeah, so, yeah, well, well played, well played to V Cruisers. There, I mean. Again, a lot of a lot of mistakes, but you know, closing it out sixteen eleven, not not a bad scoreline to, to close out on. Well, guys, that is our uh, last match of the night.